Hey guys, it's Lisa. So today I'm at Disneyland and the main thing that I want to do today, well, I have a long list, a long, long list of Halloween treats that I want to get. And if you're asking, hey, I mean, Halloween started a long time ago. Aren't you kind of like late to the game? The answer is yes, like 100% yes, but I'm only one girl and I only have one stomach. So, you know, we got to take it slow. But other than that, I want to look at some merch. We'll definitely look at some merch and maybe meet a character or two or go on a ride. I have no idea, but let's just go along for the ride. Come along with me and yes, let's hang out at California Adventure. Oh wait, okay, before we get too far, which yes, I mean, I literally was sitting right there. I don't know why I didn't just stay right there, but before we get too far, look who I brought with me. I am not alone. <laughs> I know, it's like an inanimate object. I'm like, look who I brought with me. It's my best friend. My best friend, Donald Duck, in his candy corn sipper outfit. I love him, and I did buy him like a couple weeks ago, and you know, I got him at like the end of the day, so I didn't get to take him around and have an entire full day with him. I don't know why I think it's so cute to wear them as like an accessory. Or is it just cumbersome? I have no idea. We're just gonna find out. But yes, he is along for the ride today and I love him. We are best friends and I mean, okay, you guys, I have real friends. Don't worry, don't worry about me. I have real friends, but today he's gonna be my best friend, somewhat, kind of. Are you ready to see something very, very cute? Because look at this. It's Mickey and he's inside of the trolley and he's meeting and greeting people in his little vampire costume. It's a little hard to see. I'm giving you like the worst view ever. <laughs> Maybe like that? No, it's still pretty bad. Okay, what about like that, kind of? Okay, that's still, that's still pretty bad, but it's so adorable. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> okay, what should our first stop be? I mean, okay, food, obviously. We said food was important, and I mean, we gotta take our little Donald sipper and show him a good time today. Is this awkward? Kind of. <laughs> but, okay, yes, I think... I think I want to get coffee first, get a little energy, and I haven't had the butter pecan coffee over at Pim's Test Kitchen, and I really want it. Can we have a moment for the wonderful bat decorations all over DCA? I love how purple they are, I love how spooky they are. I just love the decorations here. But also, I cannot believe that we are more than halfway through the Halloween season here at Disneyland. I kind of hate that. I feel like I've been wasting time. Like what? I still have so many food things to get and so many rides to go on. Halloween overlays, like Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't even done Monsters After Dark this year yet. What is wrong with me? You know something else insane? I have not even seen this in real life yet. It's been out for like a month. I'm telling you guys, I come to Disneyland all the time, yet there's so many things that even I miss. Well, okay, let's be honest, I miss a lot. I don't go do everything, but here it is. The She-Hulk bench, right here. <laughs> Speaking of things that I am not really up to date with, well, I have not seen the Hulk yet. Is that insane? I think so, kind of, but yeah, I haven't seen the Hulk in real life here at Avengers Campus, and honestly, he's not a huge priority for me. I don't mind if I do not see him. Ooh, wait, I didn't notice that Iron Man is right up there. Hey, Iron Man. But yeah, I'm not in a huge hurry or rush to see him, and... That's fine, there are other characters like Moon Knight. Moon Knight deserves all of the stocking. He deserves hours of stocking, which yes, I put those hours in and it paid off, but the Hulk, you know, I think the plan is gonna be, I'm gonna go get a coffee over here at Pim Test Kitchen, and if we see him, that's great. And if we don't, that's also totally fine. Coffee acquired, and yeah, that did take a little bit of time. That line was a little bit long, but it's worth it actually. This is a butter pecan cold brew. It's around just for the holiday season. Well, for the Halloween holiday season, and it's really delicious. It's very sweet. If you don't like sweet things, you won't care for this. And I did give it a good stir so that all of the delicious foam would go to the bottom, and it's pretty delicious. <laughs> but yay, I'm excited. I also like that it has actual pecans in it. Very cute, and if I had to choose between this one or the pumpkin spice one that's over at Disneyland, I, you know, that's actually kind of a hard choice. Maybe this one, maybe, but no, they're both really good. And plus the pumpkin pie spice one had actual like little sugar crystals on top that made it very cute and a little bit crunchy. So actually maybe that one. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna drink this and then look where I am. I am actually, I'm right, I'm like the world. Okay, don't judge me. I'm about to put this down on this hand sanitizer really quick. Don't judge me, okay. But I'm right by the stroller parking and there's a trash can next to me. Typical, right? But okay, we are gonna wait for the Hulk. And by the time I finish this coffee, if he hasn't come out yet, then too bad, I, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> 
abandoned my post and I'm sorry trash can friend I know we became slightly friends in the one minute that I was there but I tried to move a little bit closer to where the Hulk might come out and it's not looking good it's been about 10 minutes he's not coming and look the coffee drink is basically done so I think we're gonna move on because yeah the Hulk doesn't really he doesn't warrant a lot of stalking the other characters sure I will stalk them but the Hulk eh, maybe not <laughs> I just placed an order at Award Wieners and it won't be ready for another 15 minutes or so or at least that's the earliest that I'll be able to hit the button that says I'm here, prepare my order. So let's maybe do a little bit of shopping because Gone Hollywood is right next door. I think that's a good way to kill some time. Unfortunately, I'm not really seeing a lot of new stuff, although I am seeing a lot of stuff that I have previously seen that I want. That includes the Vans collection. And yes, I know, it's all Disney World and I usually would hate that, but I kind of still love it. Ugh, I'm dying. I've already talked about this sweatshirt, but I kind of want it. I really do not need another black hoodie. Absolutely not, but this one is so soft and it's just calling my name. <laughs> Another thing calling my name is this Vans t-shirt for women. Look at the fun graphic on it. I love Mickey. I think he looks so cute right there, so vintage. And the quality of the Vans shirts is always so soft and so nice. So ah, it's calling my name and I just might cave. <laughs> I'm kind of sad because I never got the chance to get the Oogie Boogie ears. They sold out way too quickly and I don't like love Oogie Boogie. I think he's kind of gross, but I still really like the ears and I'm sad. I also like the spirit jersey. It's wacky, but I like it. But yeah, I'm sad. I never got the chance to get them. They sold out way too fast. I don't want to ruin the mystery, but this is what I ordered from Award Wieners. It's the footlong spicy pulled pork dog, and it looks very good. And also the fries here are the best fries, the best fries ever. So I'm very excited to try it. This is the other Halloween time offering. It's not new. It's been around for a couple years, but they're the Oogie Boogie Funnel Cake Fries. And okay, the flavor is really, really good. These taste great, but that green food coloring is so much. You can't necessarily taste the food coloring, but it just is a lot. It stains everything. So yes, I recommend it, but I also don't recommend it. <laughs> the time has come. Now I'm patiently waiting for my award winner's order to be prepared. And I'm sitting here in a comfy place with my little Donald Sipper. He's very excited to try food. He's never had it before. Yeah, I need to stop talking about him like he's real, but he is real. He's just not alive. <laughs> I have my food and first off my hands are so sticky because this thing is so messy but also my mouth is on fire right now and I love it. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to actually be spicy. So yes, this is the footlong spicy pulled pork dog. It's sweet and spicy pulled pork with a fiery tropical chutney and it's served on a toasted bun and of course I got the film strip fries because you can't beat the film surprise here. They're so good, but yes, okay, so this is really delicious. I mean, I feel like a lot of the hot dogs here are, well, they're hit or miss, okay? So one time, uh, like many moons ago, I got what was called the lava dog, and it was very similar to this. Like it had, I think it had pulled pork and like a sweet teriyaki sauce, and I hated it. <laughs> so, I mean, I know I said I would never speak of it again. Let's not speak its name ever again. but here we are and I'm talking about it and how much I disliked it. But this one is like the, like if that was the evil like twin, this is the good twin. This is actually pretty spicy. It does have a little bit of sweetness because if you get a bite with a lot of pineapple, you can really taste it. But the bun is nice and toasty, which I love. The bread is really nice here. And like I said, the film surprise, you can't beat them. So all around, I would definitely recommend this. Also the presentation is kind of like, ridiculously fun right like the hot dog is so large it's so large and i love like the sauce they put on top of it is like a little bit sweet a little bit tangy and it's nice and creamy so i'm into it yeah i didn't think i would love it but i do i do love it oh and in case you're wondering donald said he's you know having a great time here today but i wanted to point out something so when i bought him i got him as a mobile order from jolly holiday and i just picked him up without inspecting him but look at this he has a little paint stain right there and he has some paint smeared by his eye but okay as soon as i got him i was like i guess i can't bring him back because i mean i've like imprinted with him he and i are bonded we are one so yeah i didn't bring him back even though the perfectionist in me would die but yeah he's just you know he's my donald now and that's you know that's just the way he is 
came inside of Five and Dime and look at what they have. They have the Mickey Mouse main attraction Dumbo Lounge Fly and it is very cute. I love the metallic leather on it, but my favorite part, well, okay, I love that the ears really, really match the actual Mickey ears, but my favorite part is the tiny hat. I have such a weakness for a tiny hat and this backpack has it. I mean, excuse me, that's amazing. And then, ooh, okay. One-handed things are kind of difficult sometimes, but there's Walt Disney World 50 embroidered on the side, and then I think it has gold straps. Yes, it has gold straps, and then look right there, it says Dumbo, and it's printed on, and this is $95. But the other thing I was going to add to this is that, so the ears, okay, the ears at first I thought were so wacky. When I saw them online and I saw them on the rack, I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh, absolutely not. But in real life, like when you put them on your head, they actually look kind of cute and I don't hate them, especially because I do have a weakness for the tiny hats on ears. There is a Huey, Dewey, and Louie hat here, and this is absolutely adorable. And also, look at this, the tag is in the shape of a duck foot. I cannot with how cute that is, but I love Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Especially, oh, look at all the different poses they're in. This is so precious. I mean, I wish it came in more of like a girl style because this is definitely a guy's hat, but I, yeah, I would love this. I'm always so jealous of all the kids' clothes because I think kids get all of the cute stuff and this Star Wars tee is just, I mean, I love it because, well, look, there's a lot of details. One, look at the cuff sleeves. I love when they do that. And then Star Wars here is printed, but they actually have all the droids as patches. I want this shirt. Oh my gosh. Okay, how much are you? This is $25 and honestly, I feel like maybe maybe i could get it and i would you know maybe like crop it myself so it would be like a homemade baby tea okay so hear me out i feel like this is a medium i think i would need a large actually but i feel like it would fit at the top you know i would my arms might be a little bit too big for it but then i would just crop it like an inch or two maybe I really want to make this work. I think it's very, very cute. But yes, children's clothes are really not meant for adults. They just fit funny. So maybe you would need a little bit of, you know, some seamstressness involved. But I really want it. Boo, they don't have a large. Okay, it's medium or nothing. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this. They have the Belle Disney designer doll out on display here and she is looking stunning. Look at those ruffles. Look at the rhinestones that are dotting the mesh. Ooh, there's bubbles. I love bubbles. <laughs> and then also the bodice is so beautiful and her gloves and her little purse accessory. But one thing I did not really realize is that, okay, at first I was like, what is that around her neck? Well, it's her hair. <laughs> I am slightly confused by that hairstyle. I'll accept it. I'm okay with it. She looks beautiful. And then I also love Cinderella. She's one of my favorite princesses. So yes, you go Cinderella. You look beautiful. Excuse me. There is a new new emo. I am obsessed with new emo. So anytime they have something new, I get really, really excited. <laughs> and I'm not a huge Marvel fan, but the Hulk is really cute in new emo form, don't you think? Or is he creepy? I, okay, well, the outfit and like the chest muscles, I could do without, but I think there's something slightly cute about him. But wait, now that I look at him closer, is it, is he creepy? I, mm, no, we're gonna call him cute. I mean, look at his little ears, little half circle ears. Yeah, okay, I just, let's just ignore his chest. I don't care for that. <laughs> They have fully restocked all of these fur jackets and they are very, very cute. They have them in all of the sizes. And something I wanted to point out, so somebody corrected me in my last video, they do in fact have pockets. That makes my heart sing, it makes my heart sore. I don't know why I love pockets so much. I feel like it's important, you know? But yes, this is an adorable jacket. Okay, so I met up with a friend and I went to the Pym Particle, what is this place called again? It's the, not the test kitchen, it's the lab for a Tory. <laughs> but anyway, we ended up getting drinks. So he got one that has ice cream in it. I'll put it on the screen because I genuinely don't remember what it was called, but it has a cute name and it has ice cream and the best part, it has little tiny marshmallows on top, which is amazing. And then the one I got, this one is a little bit refreshing. It has watermelon acai and it has boba at the bottom and it's nice and sparkly and fizzy so it's nice on a hot summer day well it's not it's not summer anymore <laughs> but anyway yes i'm gonna enjoy this and then i think after this i want to get a little bit of dessert <laughs> 
it is many, many hours later. Not as many hours as my other videos where suddenly it's nighttime, but it's many hours later. I ended up going to Carnation Cafe with my friends and, okay, so the drinks, I wanted to update you. My drink was delicious. I loved it. It was light and refreshing, but my friend hated his drink. It was not good. So the beer was really bitter and then the ice cream, he said, was like hard to eat and it just wasn't great. So. I wouldn't recommend that one. I didn't taste it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just the feedback I got. It was not a good drink. But anyway, I'm gonna go to California Adventure because there's still more food that I wanna get and I haven't gotten it yet. So let's go back on to our adventure for food. We gotta get Donald some treats, you know? We have to have a little moment of appreciation for the spooky bats on top of Carthay Circle. They're looking extra spooky, I think, but they also just look so good with the sunlight hitting them right now. We love that. Okay, but anyway, off to Smoke Jumpers Grill. So I just got my mint shake from Smoke Jumpers, and they also gave me a straw from Starbucks, so it kind of suits it, right? It matches. It's a nice green color to go with it. And I already took a sip, but first off, let me just say the design going on is impeccable. It's immaculate. We love it. All the gummies, so good. There's a brain, there's a bone, and there's also a snack cake back here. I actually don't know the name of these types of snack cakes. I, yeah, I don't know, but it's the kind that has like jelly in it. So I'll give it a go. Honestly, I've never had one of these before, like one of these snack cakes. So yes, don't judge me on that. But okay, so I already sipped the shake and I'm a little disappointed. Ooh, did you see that bubble? <laughs> but yeah, I'm a little disappointed because typically I love mint things and I think that, you know, some people complain about it tasting kind of toothpastey and I'm like, hey, don't talk about mint like that. Give it a little chance. But this one actually does taste a little bit toothpastey. It's one of the first times that I've ever felt like that has happened in a food item for me before. So I'm a little sad. I'm still gonna, you know, have it and enjoy it, but like I would have liked it to be a little bit sweeter, like less toothpastey, a little bit sweeter. Still good and also so festive, but not the best, not my favorite mint thing. I feel like the mint mini shake over at Schmoozie's, that is really delicious. That one is really, really good. I would recommend that one over this one, like hands down for sure. Ooh, look at all, there's a lot of bubbles now. I don't, I think they're all in front of me, not behind me, but yay, okay, anyway. Yeah, I like it, but I don't love it. The brain is melting into the shake and I already lost the bone. It's somewhere, it's somewhere in there. Okay, and other than that, I am very sad to report that the best part about this shake is in fact the snack cake. What's going on? I'm very sad about this. Mint shake, you're giving mint things a bad name to people that already don't like mint. Okay, so now we are going to Cars Land. I thought it might be kind of nice to try and check out the lighting ceremony. So they do a special lighting ceremony around sunset. It's usually about 10 minutes before sunset. We have about 15, maybe 20 minutes until sunset, so it's kind of perfect timing. There is definitely a crowd picking up. Everybody knows to be here right before sunset, and we're just a few minutes away, but look at how beautiful and picturesque that view is. Ooh. Yay! Okay, it's starting right now. And yes, don't you agree? It kind of looks so much better when it's all lit up. And then over here, we have Flo's V8, which also looks so good. And I think that's gonna be our next stop because I think we need to get a little bit more food. 
Isn't this a fantastic view? It's incredible. Nothing beats Cars Land at night. Well, okay, Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge actually might beat Cars Land at night. But either way, I think that the Cars ride is not working right now because, well, because you can't hear it. <laughs> Usually you can hear it going by every few seconds or so, but not right now, which adds to the ambiance, but that's okay. It makes it a little bit more peaceful, perhaps. Maybe, but anyway, okay, I'm at Flo's V8. I just finished eating. I ended up getting the spicy chicken and fries, and it's not a new menu item. It's been around, and I had it last year, and I want to say that last year I don't remember it being quite as spicy. This year, I feel like they kicked it up a notch, unless I'm just not remembering things correctly, but it's delicious. So they have a pile of fries, and then they put ranch on it, and on top of that, they have chicken tenders coated in a mango habanero sauce, and it's pretty tasty but also pretty spicy. So if you don't like spice, I have a feeling you will really dislike it. Like you'll just taste spice, but it's really, really nice. The ranch adds a little bit of coolness and you cannot beat the chicken tenders here. They are super crispy with nice white meat and the fries themselves, okay, typically I don't like steak fries, but these I can get behind. I feel like they're really, really good and they do get a little bit soggy and it's just overall a very saucy dish, which I do love sauce. So that makes me very happy. And and I think it was a really nice way to end the night. I don't know if I can really eat more, although I wish I could, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I have room for anything else. Ooh, look what it is. I just happened upon this right now. It's the werewolf. I feel like I should be whispering. This guy doesn't really do a whole lot, is how I feel about it. trick pony though well okay he's a three trick pony is what i think we came to the conclusion of right but either way i came over to cars land because i wanted to check out the cozy cone motel one last time and well not forever you know just for tonight and i really need to soak in all of this halloween energy because we are more than halfway through halloween and next comes christmas and i am not ready for christmas i really am not and yeah all around you guys this was an amazing day look donald he said he had an amazing day i need to stop talking about him as though he's alive it's it's really weird it's kind of creepy but yes all around an amazing amazing day i hope you have fun coming along with me and thank you guys so much for watching but yeah i'll catch you in the next one <laughs> see ya